here in the United States, we don't have the patriarchy to worry about. We don't have Islam to worry about. We have dominionism to worry about. With dominionism comes the negative parts to traditionalism in this country. These are the things that are pushing the very things that feminists are calling the patriarchy. They are the things that we have to worry about the combination of church and state. We don't have Sharia to worry about in this country. Are there people that are breaking the laws to try to live according to Sharia? Yeah, and they need to be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. We have laws. We have laws for that. And we need to enforce them. And I have no problem with there being extra laws put into place that say, hey, yeah, you're not going to do these types of things based on your religious beliefs. The same thing should be applying to the Christians who don't want to take their kids to the doctor for something that would be easily curable, and then, you know, their kids die because they didn't give them basic care. Yeah, there should be laws for that sort of thing, too. That's the way that we should be protecting children. But so many people want to focus on, oh no, the Muslims. Is it something we should have no care about whatsoever? Well, of course not. We, sh we should have some concern. But we should be the most concerned about the things that could affect us the most, that has the most potential to affect us. And one of the reasons why it could affect us so much right now is that so many of Trump supporters are either Dominionists or they don't seem to have a problem with Dominionists. There are some atheists who are aligning with the Dominionists simply because they're against the left and what the left is doing. I'm not saying all of the left, but they're against the extreme elements of the left, so let's align with Dominionists. That is a threat, ladies and gentlemen. That is a threat. Not the Sharia stuff, which is not a threat.